No way I can pick this.
Hi. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Girl, have you come to the wrong place? My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, beautiful. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll uh, give you a discount. Did you say something about directions to Diamond City earlier? Directions. Mm, figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the great green jewel just inside the city limits. Keep moving. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Scammer. This doesn't involve you. Ugh. I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out use an extra gun, or maybe you talk some sense into Trudy over there. If I help, I expect to get paid. I'm not here to haggle. You'll get whatever I feel like giving you. Got it? Now what's it gonna be? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that jet selling scumbag. Wolfgang and I had a deal. If I'm going to back out on it, I'll need more. I'm not playing this game, Scaver. A hundred caps or nothing. 
All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. You crossed the wrong. Hey. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Sure. All salvage.
Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're right kind of gal. Here the different raider groups are carving up concrete like what Christmas turkeys. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boop. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez. All right. Make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, critter scrapped that a statement, for parts. Mr. Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This really isn't any of my business. 
No, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not gonna be here long. Ugh, another Sino evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had up? enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. Hey. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. Just looking for something. Aren't we all? Now, was there anything particular you were looking for? Well, who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. And we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere. Unofficially. When you get inside the city, Go to the back, around the market, to an alleyway. There's a couple of bright neon signs. Valentine's Detective Agency. No one likes going there, though, so buyer beware and all that. A private eye. In the ruins of the ballpark. Makes total sense. Not sure I get what you're driving at. Why don't you just move along? 